But I guess who would be, in your opinion, be the the people that fought to lay this out to where we could actually get the wins this week? I, like Grayscale comes to mind, the XRP fighting like hell, as well as like Coinbase fighting like hell against the SEC. But I was wondering what what would what are your highlights on that on that pack on that thought? I, I think it's the industry in general. Like if you look at like the actual super PAC that's out there, that's not one, that's not any individual company. That's like the industry basically saying we're sick of it, right? Like what, what this industry has done, which is really unique, right? Is that in general, um, if you're a bank, if you're an exchange, if you're a company and the SEC comes knocking at your door, you say, thank you, we'll take the fine. We appreciate it. Please don't come come back. This industry actually did that for many, many years. And then eventually, you know, the thing that happens when you are finally told that there's nothing you can do for them to allow you to operate your business, I think that was freeing to a lot of companies, right? Because at some point it's like, okay, so you basically just said, we could come and try and follow every single one of your made up rules that don't even make sense and you still wouldn't approve us. So who cares anymore? Like we will counter sue you, we will fight your lawsuits, we will go against you, right? And I think the problem is they they actually declared war on an industry. And it's not the smartest thing in the world to declare war on an industry that can print its own money. <laughs> Let's be dead honest. Like <laughs> no, matter, no matter what you feel about it, like, right? Like I don't think anyone would defend that every company in this space is perfect. Absolutely. I don't think, I think it would be dumb to defend that there's no like legit companies in this space. I also think it would be dumb to say that there are not many, many more bad companies than there are good. Um, but the rules have also not allowed any of these companies to actually do this, right? So when you kind of look at it, it's like, you know, look, it's it's a bunch of companies coming together to say, hey, we have weight that we can throw around. It's crypto owners actually revealing themselves to be, you know, yeah, 90% completely fucking insane but like 10% actually reasonable people that live in key states that may have been Democrat in the past that are now considering voting for someone they never would have voted for in the past because they believe due to the behavior of this regime that it doesn't matter who you actually vote for, right? And they might as well vote for, um, you know, who they actually care about. Like, I, again, I think like, look, this industry is really interesting because it, it you kind of see the beginnings of what it looks like to self-regulate, right? Like beginning of this, every single coin ever pumped, right? Every single coin ever rugged, right? 2020, 2021, everyone got themselves convinced that there were all these deities and amazing businessmen out there and you realize they're fucking nothing, right? They just are what they are. They're just marketing machines. Everything rugs. This this time around was a full acknowledgement that everything was useless, and so it's just a casino, so we might as well gamble, right? Now, that was an interesting combination of both scary, which you don't want that to happen for a super long period of time. There's only so long you can like have people be like, it's bound to go up every four years, but it's a total useless joke, right? You needed a moment like, like, like this to start to actually shift that, but you did start to see it. People turn on influencers they turn on the private sales they turn on the token generation events this is all bs they turn on the teams that are launching it you're just cut copy and pasting stuff and they start to just go into projects that whether they believe them to be fair or not which they are not but whether they believe them to be fair or not they go into these memes or at least they perceive they have a better chance um you know even though most of those are launched in a similar fashion but like I think that they at least go into those perceived that they have a better chance. You could see the market regulating itself. It regulated itself into stupidity, like, because this market's the best, but like it was <laughs> regulating it, it, it itself, right? So I just, I, I think it's like a, um, this could be a very significant turning point. Because again, like, 